Hello, Stings. In part three of finding slope um, from various options from a graph or from two points, which we've already done, that was part one and part two. In part three, we're looking at finding slope from an equation. Whenever we are given an equation and we need to find slope, we can solve for y or put it into slope intercept form. Here is um, your slope. Here is your intercept. y equals 3x minus 5 is an example of an equation written in slope-intercept form. So let's open up this flap and look at some of the examples. We have three of them. First off, we have the equation y equals negative one-half x plus 5. So I'm just going to go y equals mx plus b. So here's where things line up. M is negative one-half. So right here I'm going to say M is negative one-half. So from this equation I have identified the slope as negative one-half. From this second equation, again, we've got Y equals MX plus B. We're not really worried about the Y-intercept at this point. We're focusing on slope. Slope is always the number in front of the X once you have put it into slope-intercept form or solve for Y. The slope in this case is 5 over 4. For this third example, y equals mx plus b. The 2 is the number in front of the x, so our slope is simply 2. So in order to find the slope from an equation, you first must write it into slope-intercept form or solve it for y, and then identify the coefficient of the x term.